Good morning and welcome to A Thriving Thursday. We are here for our weekly read aloud and today is our special Mother's Day edition. Just Us and Books wants to say a very happy Mother's Day to all the mothers, all the women who help raise and love on children. A very happy Mother's Day to you. And stay tuned because at the end, we have some photos of some very special mothers and very special children. So stay tuned for that. Today, our read aloud is called Me and Mama. Very appropriate. Our author for today is Kuzby Cabrera, me and mama. Here we go. Good morning to you, sings mama, bright as sun. Sometimes she sings it like the birthday song. I've tiptoed to where she is in the house. It smells like cinnamon. Papa and Luke are still sleeping but I want to be everywhere mama is. I understand how that feels. I put my nose to the window. My breath makes a cloud inside. The clouds outside are wearing shadows. The wind is painting the outside window with beads of water. It's raining, I say. The perfect day for boots and puddles, says mama. Bathroom first, she says, then water, I say. This is mama's cup. Sometimes I take a cool sip, but I have to be careful because her cup is breakable. This is my cup. Mama's cup goes click, click with a spoon. My cup goes, da, da, click, click, da, da, click, click, click. Sometimes things break, Mama says. This is Mama's toothbrush. This is mine. I get less toothpaste. Round my teeth with little circles, Mama says. Round my teeth with little circles, I say. It's shower and dress time. Mama holds up my towel. A shower is warm rain that gets you going. Mama and I both have silver dresses. I wear mine with silver shoes. They're my favorite. Today is not silver dress day, Mama tells me. I put my silver dress back on the hanger and pick the plaid pants instead. Comb hair, says Mama. She points to my chair. I'm hungry, I say. Mama's thought of this ahead of time. She has warm oatmeal in the pot. This is Mama's bowl. She likes berries. This is my bowl. I like bananas. Me too. Comb hair, Mama says again. I don't want the bumblebee barrette. I don't like the bumblebee barrette, I say. Mama closes her hand. She knows I mean just today. She gives me the blue barrette. Comb hair, I say. I point to Mama's chair. Mama smiles. I give Mama the purpley pink barrette. It matches her dress. She calls it fuchsia. Nothing like sitting with Mama and getting your hair combed. Out we go, I say. Max is waiting. There are my rain boots and those are Mama's. Mama's rain boots are bigger than mine and they're red. I watch for Max's tail before I close the door. Max doesn't wear boots. Is it safe to predict that Max is their dog? I think so. Outside of Pecker Pecks, the sidewalk is longer than it is wide. I love the grass that grows in the in-between. It's moss, Mama says. It's velvety, I say. A hole is where a branch was. Nests are left behind in winter. 
Some things don't let go, but for what? The stores are boxes filled with people. We sing out loud to sky. Sky is taller, taller than the trees. Mama says a song is highs and lows. Splash, they got outside. The outside clouds are pink with a sleepy sun. The day and our good are done. Mama puts me and Luca to bed. Our day is done earlier than Mama and Papa's. It's just that way when you're growing. Mama reads to us and I read to Mama. I begin each story with sometimes. Mama laughs. She throws her head back and shines her teeth. I laugh too. You're my best girl, Mama whispers. Luca is already asleep. I slip through the blanket tunnel she closes by my chin. There's the kiss. I love you, Mama, I tell. She turns off the light. My mouth gets sleepy first. The walls are dark except by the window where the stars are hanging. I close my eyes and let the day spin me some pictures. There's Max and Luca and Papa and Mama's laugh and tree holes and tall songs and mossy velvet as green as grass and full boxes and a blue barrette and a whole cup and a beaded window and a warm indoor rain. Oh, oh. There'll be me and mom. There they are. Me and mom. The end. Me and mama. Peekaboo. All right. I do hope you enjoyed our Mother's Day read aloud once again. A very happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And again, stay tuned for those wonderful photo tributes. Just us and books.